Hey, what is going on guys? It's Connor here from Menu Dunks, and in today's video, we're going to be following on from the last episode, which was a mute command. In this episode, we're going to be doing an unmute command, which is basically, obviously, something that removes a role, this role being a muted role. So, obviously, we're going to start it off with the same basis. We're most likely just going to grab this stuff here, um, just because it's pretty much the same stuff that we need. We'll just paste it in there. Um... Just remember, if you guys didn't understand it from the last uh, episode, I accidentally added an S and has permissions is deprecated. Um, I did this because obviously I went with, um, I went like this and accidentally did has permissions when it auto completed. Um, yeah, it's just not that at all. So we're also going to quickly grab the uh, checks for mentions and the ID we're gonna grab those and we're gonna stick them in our unmute command as well because this will not change um, And then we'll get to the section where obviously we need to check for the mute role Now obviously if there isn't a mute role what we're gonna do is we're gonna do if there isn't a mute role return channel dot message uh, Sorry message dot channel dot send um there is no mute role to remove and this will basically just tell the user that's trying to use this command that there is no mute role to start off with and therefore um, they can't run the command now obviously when we get to this part what we want to do is we want to remove the role so we're going to do mute e dot remove role mute role dot id then we're gonna go dot then um arrow function if i could do the arrow function correctly params then we're gonna do basically the same thing where we deleted the call of the command then we're gonna do mute dot send and then we're gonna type hello you have been unmuted in message dot guild dot name for and then we're going to add reason here then what we're going to do and i don't think i did this in the um last episode is we're going to add a console log for the error so console log error and then we're just going to quickly grab this and add this into oh, actually i did it's right there never mind then the last thing we want to do inside here is message.channel.send backticks mutee.user.username obviously changing a guild member object into a user object was unmuted exclamation mark now what we're going to do is we're obviously going to send an embed so let embed equal new discord dot rich embed is that a comma no that's not new discord dot rich embed with these bad boys set color to red then set author the author is going to be message dot guild dot name this is basically the same stuff as to what we did on the last episode and then we're going to add message dot guild dot icon url then the next bit is message oh sorry dot add field and then if i remember correctly if we have a look here the first thing we added was the moderation the mutee the moderator the you know, we'll just copy this bit here and then we'll change it over and then we'll change that to unmute uh message oh, uh, this is all the same stuff and then let s channel uh, channel equal message dot message dot guild dot channels dot find and then obviously we're going to use the find method in this case we're going to use c c dot name name being the property and then we're going to do tut dot mod logs now obviously we, what we can do here is we can do s s channel dot send embed and that's going to call the embed 
that's basically the whole command here. Obviously, you can change this to make it appropriate for the certain aspect. Um, but as you can see, it's not that much of a lengthy code compared to the last one. It should basically be the exact same, but I obviously went into more depth in the last episode, which you should go watch if you haven't. Now what we're going to do is we're going to quickly run the bot. Now, as you can see, we are running the bot. We're going to quickly pull up this and go into testing. Uh, prefix being that, we're going to type mute to quickly mute a user. What we'll do is we'll mute. We'll grab someone's. We'll grab someone from here. Someone that's not really going to care if we message them. What we're going to do actually is we're going to quickly mute what we were muting last time, which is I has Nick. Gonna mute them. Successfully muted, and then unmute. I has Nick. Bam, should be done. Also, just to make sure that you guys understand, there is a way to mute them via this. You can mute them like that, and then you can unmute using the ID as well. Just like that. Anyways, guys, obviously that is the end of the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Remember guys that all this code right here is on our GitHub as well as every episode coming up that is already recorded and every previous episode. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.